What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the one and only Neo stock and what you should be looking out for for the future. I'm also going to break down what's going on with the overall market, the economy, the stock market for tomorrow because we have some huge data coming out. We have CPI coming out. I'm going to break down when it's going to come out, how this may affect the market, and also what the technicals are telling us about Neo and the market going forward. And before I break anything down about this, before I go over the specific levels that CPI could actually bring and how it may affect the market, markets and also what you should watch for for tomorrow i do have to mention a couple of things before starting firstly i'm not a financial planner make sure you take none of this as financial advice whatsoever and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me it benefits the entire neo community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below in the description if you sign up for Mumu, the link down below and deposit 100 bucks into the account, you're guaranteed seven free stocks, and five out of those seven free stocks could be a free Neo share. It's a limited time offer. The offer ends in just under three weeks. Check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So Neo is up a 0.47% for the day. From a technical standpoint, this is a little bit more on the bullish side. We actually have a bullish divergence that developed on the RSI on the hourly. The same thing is showing on the daily for Neo. So the technicals are looking like Neo might try to get a bounce. I say this because when you look at where the RSI has been, the RSI was actually at about, this is like the 32 level. Even like right here, we saw it at the 27 level. Neo made a new low at $8 and the RSI was still at 32. So the RSI, if anything, actually made a higher low than before, but the overall share price is making a lower low. So this tells me that we got a nice bounce and Neo might try to keep going. But I cannot promise this, okay? Even though this is very possible, I can't promise this because technical analysis is only part of the picture. And the bigger part of the picture is going to be CPI. CPI is going to be massive, and whether or not the bullish divergence does end up playing out will depend on CPI. I'm going to break down exactly why. So to start us off, another bank actually got hit very hard. That's actually Signature Bank. Once again, highly correlated with that of uh, silicon valley bank these banks are investing in very high risk uh, ventures they're gonna have to struggle because of it and we are seeing the fed and the government actually stepping in despite the fact that they said that they won't yesterday this, this is actually uh contrary to what they're saying now and as they are beginning to step in they have to take deci uh, decisive actions to protect the u.s economy according to them and we are seeing more regulators continuing to, to you know, hold some banks accountable, but, but at the same time, they are stepping in and they are also looking for other buyers for the banks. So it still is a big mess. But here's what's very important about this. The banks collapsed because of the fact that their rates went up. That did play a role, which caused their assets, their, their bonds and their treasuries to lose a lot of value. They also were highly over leveraged into risky assets and they didn't actually hedge properly so banks like signature bank silicon valley bank and also a couple of other ones are taking huge hits specifically the two i just named and as they're taking these big hits many other banks like goldman sachs are saying the fed will have to hit the brakes on the interest rate hikes and this is becoming the new kind of like thesis right now the new narrative that the fed might actually pause soon now, is this possible? Yes, but I think it's extremely unlikely, super, super unlikely. And I say this because of the fact that I, I think it's unlikely because inflation is still hot. It's super hot. And the Fed still has to continue to tighten. And we're going to have to see what the next inflation report tells us to determine if they're actually going to pause. I have like the data right here. There's been a bit of a decline, and this is actually from CPI in itself, but this did actually go up for the month of January. If you look at expectations, CPI is expected to rise 6%, and then core CPI is expected to rise 5.5%. So what do I think is going to happen? Let me break this down for you. Starting with CPI, the expectation is 6%. Anything between 5 to 5.8% will help the market pump. But remember, it's not just CPI, it's also core CPI. 5.9 to 6.1% would be okay. Just a little bit under, a little bit above would just be okay. 
Anything over 6.2% would be either bad or horrible if it's over 6.6%. And my guess is CPI is going to be a little bit hot around that 6.1% zone. Now, Joe Biden is very confident we're going to get a good CPI. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if he truly knows what he's what he's saying about it. But I do believe CPI is going to be a little bit above expectations. However, I also believe that the data is going to be mixed because I think core is going to be as expected. That's my prediction. Based on previous data, anything between 5 to 5.4% would be pretty good. 55 to 5.6% would be okay. And then 5.7% uh, would be pretty bad if we see something like that. 5.8% or higher is going to be horrible. Absolutely horrible. My guess is core is going to be somewhere around here. Somewhere in the middle. Very close to expectations. Uh, I, I don't know if it's going to be lower, but I would say it's very close to where we are expecting it to be. And I think that what's going to happen is maybe initially the market might rally a bit. Just maybe. That's just my guess, guys. I, I really don't know, by the way. But my guess is maybe it's going to lead to a temporary rally. Maybe the market's going to hold up temporarily uh, as we approach the big date, as we get very close to it. I think that's very significant and very important because of the fact that the market holding up might actually lead to some more, you know, shorts re-entering the different positions. I also want to note that when you look at the data in itself, it's coming out very early in the morning, maybe one hour before the market opens. So it's going to be very huge. What do I think is going to happen? If CPI is cooler than expected, NEO could get a rally above 5.7 getting all the way back up to nine. That is very possible. And this technical bullish divergence could play out. Neo can get back to the nines. If CPI is higher than expected, this would mean that the Fed has to continue to tighten and the pain that banks are going through could get worse. All right. And if that's the case, we're likely going to see this thing continue to drop. Neo could retest $8, unfortunately. That's what I'm essentially seeing. For SPY, if we're more bullish, this thing could rally to about 390 to 393. If we're bearish, this thing could crash to about 380 or even get lower than that all the way down to the 377 zone. 375 is going to be in the next important level. And finally, for the triple Q, this managed to close kind of green. If CPI is good, I expect a retest of this trend line getting all the way up to the mid to high 290s. If it's bad, Expect the QQQ to retest 285, then come all the way down to 281. All right, so what do I predict? I really don't know. Uh, I can't make any like perfect prediction. It really depends on the data. But I do think the odds are a little bit more in favor of NEO trying to rally because we have a bullish divergence and also because of the fact that Joe Biden said it's going to be a good report and because of the facts that, I mean, if you look at historical data, it did actually show signs of it increasing again. I'm talking about CPI, but I don't think it's going to be as horrible. It's just what my gut is telling me. So I, I'm guessing that maybe we see very mixed results. Maybe Neo tries to bounce a little bit. Maybe it's not going to be a massive bounce and we're going to see some chop, but I'm hoping for something like that. However, I don't know for sure, and I want everyone to be prepared just in case. All right, so thank you all so much for listening. I want to keep this video short. And please be ready for tomorrow. It's a massive day. CPI comes up before the market opens. Neo to the moon because the long-term future is still incredibly bright. And peace out.